So far we have seen how to create the homogeneous graph and how to work on that. And in this video, let's see how can we create the heterogeneous graph using DGL methods. So earlier to create a homogeneous graph, we used dgl.graph method. And similar to that method, we have a new method called dgl.heterograph method using which we can create the heterogeneous graphs. And just to recall the concept, uh, so when we considered the homogeneous graph, we discussed that homogeneous graph should contain all the nodes of same type and all the edges are of same type. Coming to the heterogeneous graph, we can have different nodes and different edges. For example, you can see the graph that I have here. So this is a simple graph with three different types of nodes and two different types of edges. Okay. So here U refers to users, M refers to movies, D refers to directors. Okay. And the relations are users can watch movies. So users watching movies is one relation and directors can direct movies. So directors directing movies is an other relation. So we have three different entities. Those are users, movies and directors. And we have two different relations. Those are user watches movies one relation and directors direct movies is another relation. And also if you see the graph here, I considered three users ranging from 0 to 2 and two movies with IDs 0 and 1 and two directors ranging from 0 to 1. Okay. So this is this is the simple directed graph, directed heterogeneous graph with how many nodes do we have? We have three types of nodes, but the total number of nodes are seven nodes. And between these nodes, we have total six edges. Okay. So now let's see how can we create this graph. So I wanted to store the graph, uh, let's say in heterograph. Okay. So and we know the method we can use dgl dot heterograph. Okay. So let's see, uh, you know, what can what can be the input for this method. Okay. So we can see this method is expecting a data dictionary. Okay. There are some other parameters also, but those parameters are like optional parameters with default values. But the data dict uh, is a like a required parameter that we need to pass. Let's see what is this data dict. Okay. If you remember in dgl.graph method, we were passing the tuple of tensors as an input, right? We were passing the tuple of source node ID tensor and destination node ID tensor. So let's see what, what do we need to pass for the heterograph. Okay. So if we go to the data dict, they're saying it has graph data and they're saying that the dictionary data for constructing a heterogeneous graph. So that means we need to pass a dictionary, a dictionary of this, this graph. So, and, and what could be the keys and values for the dictionary? The keys, the keys are string triplets. Okay. So the keys are string triplets so that it contains three values, source type, edge type and destination type. For example, if you consider our graph here, the triplet can be user watching movies. That is user the source type and movie is the destination type edge type is the relation so here watches is the relation okay so this is the key okay this is the key that we need to pass to the dictionary okay so these these string triplets are the keys and what are the values let's see so specifying the source node edge and destination node types that uh, that we are fine the values the values are graph data in form of same same tuple of uh, source node tensors and destination node tensors okay so i'll just write like whatever they have mentioned here so they are asking us to create a dictionary okay maybe i'll write it as a code okay so they are asking us to create a dictionary where keys are source source type edge type and destination type right and this is the key in the dictionary and the values are tuple of tensors that is source node id tensor okay source node id tensor comma destination node id tensor so this dgl dot heterograph is accepting 
this kind of input it's a dictionary okay dictionary with triples as key and tensors as values okay now let's try to create this data dictionary for the sample graph that we have here okay so let's see how how do we create that so i'll call it as a uh, data dict i'll open a dictionary and i'll write uh, the first what is the first uh, triple so user let's say the relation watches and the destination type movie okay so user watches movie is one type okay and we can have a tuple of uh, tensors here and what is the other one so we can have the other type as director okay what's the relation directs director directs movie right and this can also have a tuple of tensors okay so let's see how can we pass uh, the tensors okay i'll just put this here so this is the key and this is the value okay so here it should be a tuple of two tensors right so what is the first tensor it's the source node ids so let's create that so it's torch dot tensor of so it's a source and we also need to create tensor for destination okay destination similarly we need the same thing even for this thing okay even for the second uh, re relation type okay so user watches movies that is observe this part only this part so what are the edges we have we have edges from 0 to 0 that is user 0 to movie 0 and we have edges from user 0 to movie 1 okay we have edges from user 0 to movie 1 and then we have edges from user 1 to movie 0 okay so it's user 1 then movie 0 so i'll just bring this down just to align it clearly and the other one user 2 to movie 1 okay so user 2 to movie 1 right so these are the four different edges between users and movies now we have two different edges between directors and movies okay let's also define that so we have director 0 directing movie 1 and we have director 1 directing movie 0 okay so this is our data dict let's print and see whether we have defined it correctly okay so when we print the data dict yeah so everything looks good so we have uh, a dictionary where keys are the triples the string triples where uh, the values are the tuple of tensors in this tuple the first tensor refers to the source node ids and the second tensor refers to the destination node ids and unlike the previous graph here if you observe clearly here for every individual node type the node ids are starting from zero you can see for user the node ids are starting from zero to two for movies the node ids are starting from zero and ending with one similarly for the director so for every individual node type we have the dedicated uh, integer ids okay so that's a good thing to remember so now I'll pass this data dictionary as an input to dgl.heterograph. Okay. And I'll print the heterograph. Let's see whether it works or not. Okay. Yes, it created. As you can see in the graph schema, the number of nodes in director, we have two nodes, two nodes in movies, three nodes in users, right? Three nodes in users, two nodes in movies, and two nodes in directors. So nodes are perfectly fine. Let's also see the edges. Okay. So if you see the number of edges, so between director and movie, we have two edges, right? That is true. And between users and movies, we have four edges. So that is also true, right? So this is the way we can create the heterogeneous graph using the DGL heterograph method.